My name's Chris Packer. I'm the manager of the skilled clinical trial skilled internship program at the Victorian Comprehensive Cancer Centre Alliance. VCCC is based in Victoria. It's a partnership of 10 institutions looking at improving cancer outcomes for patients across Victoria. The skilled internship program has been running since 2019. It's into its fourth year of interns. We have 77 interns will have gone through the program at the end of this year. The success is that we place um, both honours and above and PhD students, science students, into clinical trial assistant and study coordinator internship roles um, through an intensive 40-week program, on-site placement, uh, competency-based program, two-week intensive orientation program, and at the end, um, these interns are job ready and employed into the sector. The program is about building capacity of the clinical trial workforce. Particularly over the last few years, there's been a great need. There's not been international um, travellers coming in, clinicians, researchers coming into the country, um, as well as the great demand for research, and therefore that it's left um, you know a skills gap. There is a need for skilled, trained um, trialists into the sector to ensure that clinical trial participation and activity can increase. My name is Dulash Fernando and I'm currently a clinical trials assistant here at Peter McCallum Cancer Centre. I did my undergrad in biomedicine at Deakin University and my masters in biotechnology at Monash University. I started the skilled internship program in January 2021 and finished in July 2021 as well. I was placed here at Peter McCallum Cancer Centre in the uh, clinical trials unit on level 9. Um, I initially started with the breast oncology team and uh, took up my clinical trials assistant internship there. Uh, it was great getting to experience uh, all the different aspects of clinical trials with that team. Uh, soon after I moved on to the uh, Monk A team which focuses on urology and urology trials. My name is Rebecca Komisarov and I completed uh, an honours project in 2019. Um, I have then uh, worked and I am now in the fourth month of the VCCC Clinical Trial Assistant Skilled Program. I commenced this program in early February and uh, at the moment I am really uh, quite um, getting into the program uh, quite a lot. I've learnt uh, so much, a broad range of skills and um, I am placed at the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre and the Royal Children's Hospital. Um, at the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre I do uh, a range of clinical trial assistant duties uh, such as patient reimbursements, uh, laboratory sample follow-up and uh, filing and at the Royal Children's Hospital I'm involved in ethics and governance. Currently we do a range of activities as a clinical, clinical trials assistant uh, ranging from dealing with patient reimbursements to sorting out monitoring visits and maintaining the physical and electronic site files of all the trials that we have. Um, it's a great experience and the help we get is amazing, uh, not only with the supervisors on our side but on the sponsor side as well. For 2022 we've got 22 interns, um, there are 12 clinical trial assistants and 10 study coordinators and they are based in um, large tertiary facilities as well as in the regions. So all of the clinical trial units across the region, um, including North East Health Wangaratta, Golden Valley Health, Bendigo, Ballarat, Barwon, La Trobe and um, South West down in Warrnambool all have interns. Many of them have two interns. There is a, a rigorous uh, evaluation process around the internship, both from the intern perspective and the host sites. We score, um, the evaluation looks at the net promoter score and for the interns is 62% net promoter score and 84.2 for um, host sites. So that shows a great level of satisfaction both from interns and host sites around the program. I, I think it's highly important that, that the whole sector is involved in training of new staff. We, are, we have a huge shortage across the sector at the moment um, and to be able to conduct quality clinical trials we really do need staff with the skills to be able to support those trials and make sure that the, um, the results of trials um, really do provide quality care for patients. Working with interns uh, we think it's important to have many people involved in their development and learning throughout the process because the more opportunities they get to see different things and the different ways you can do things the more um, opportunities they have to develop those skills. The Royal Melbourne Hospital is really happy to be involved in the internship program. 
we always find that the candidates coming through are, are really strong candidates and that they bring fresh eyes um, to, to our processes. Um, they are very quick, because of the training that they've already had in the induction training for the, for the program, they have a good basis um, for, that sets them up for what we do in our office and all the processes that, that they will learn. 55 interns have graduated through the program up until the end of 20, 2021. At the end of this year there will be 77 interns into the sector. So over 95% of the interns have gone back into the sector um, at the end of the program. There have been one or two interns where they've gone on to study and then a year or two later they come back into the sector as well. Everyone has been absolutely fantastic throughout my journey so far in this program. The people are supportive, helpful, and my supervisors have provided not only theoretical educational guidance, they have also provided me with amazing practical support every day. We've been part of the internship program since 2020, so the second year of it running. And um, so far we've had four interns through the program and we have another two interns that we're hosting currently. The internship program is really important to a regional clinical trials unit to grow our own staff who have knowledge and expertise um, in the area to help with future recruitment. It also helps with our unit in terms of having uh, new ideas, new people in our unit that our current clinical trials staff work with um, and learn, learn with. It's a real partnership between the intern VCCC and our clinical trials unit. There are opportunities to work in regional cancer units. We're part of a, a number of um, networks that are increasing our clinical trial activity, uh, bringing clinical trials to regional and rural locations. So there are opportunities for interns to work in regional um, cancer units and be part of, of a regional team. So far out of the program I have learnt so much about clinical trials and before I came into the program I didn't actually know anything about clinical trials or research so I've got an incredible theoretical foundation and I've also learnt what the day-to-day -day, uh, tasks and job of uh, somebody working in this industry looks like and I'm incredibly excited to further develop my skills. The internship program is really unique. It's giving people the opportunity to work in clinical trials. It's giving them a foot in the door and giving them experience firsthand on what it's like to work in a clinical trials unit. All of our interns that we've hosted have gained employment in the area. We've retained one intern who's currently working with us, another has gone to another regional site and the others are still working in clinical trial units and that's expanded our, our network and I'm really proud to see how the interns have grown.